Praise the Lord, all oh, my saints, friends, children of God. You guys are awesome, and God has put on my heart to share with you guys one more time a word of encouragement today. I will be coming from Romans 12, verse 2. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Woo, man. Uh, God just told me to, uh, to, to share with y'all to, uh, if you could change the way you think, you can change the way you live. You know, the closer and closer I grow to Christ, the more I see and understand that, uh, it's nothing like a man or a woman changing the way they think. Now, that's like one of the greatest miracles you ever will see and it gets pushed to the side sometimes because you know we're real big on the miracle signs and wonders and don't get me wrong i love miracle signs and wonders i grew up on miracle signs and wonders i practice and believe and the place i go to worship practice and believe and expect miracle signs and wonders the yoke destroying the chain breaking the 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 spirit filling power anointed supernatural move of God. Love it. That's all we that's 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 our part of our everyday life. And so I would never go against that. Never, 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 never. What I am saying is it is going to come a time in your life where you are going to be challenged by God to renew your mind, to change the way you think. Because if not, you may find yourself stuck, struggling, hitting road bump after road bump, getting knocked down, getting knocked down, challenging the power of God, trying to say that it's weak, but it's not. It has nothing to do with the power of God. It's just the fact that most of us forget or are not willing to change the way we think. Uh, it's like... In a marriage, all your life you were single. You were doing your thing, making your going to work, making your money, hustling, making your money. However you was doing it, you was doing that. But you was making your money, you was doing what you do, and it was successful. And you and you was doing your thing. But you cannot take that single man's mentality into a marriage because it will mess it all up. Because it's and when you walk into a marriage, you walk into a new season of your life. You walk into a new, you have to have a new way of thinking to survive in a marriage. There was nothing wrong with that single man's mindset, but that single man's mindset was for when you were single. But now since you're married, you got to have a marriage mindset. And it's just like working out. Just like working out. You may want that, that beach body, that bodybuilding body, that, that, or, or, you know, that, that, that want to look good. But you would never be able to do that if you have a lazy man's mentality. Because a lazy man's mentality would not get you to get up and work out and eat right every day. You see what I'm saying? And it's just like with finances. You can't take a million dollars and put it in the poor man's lap. Because before you know it, that million dollars will be gone. Because of the simple fact his mind is not renewed. He has a poor man's mentality. He don't have a mentality to get that money and make something bigger out of it. So my brothers and my sisters, family of Christ, God is challenging us to renew our minds. God is challenging us to press forward toward the high calling of Jesus Christ. Because it's plain and simple. You can't be a successful Christian without renewing your mind. This is why the scripture says, old, all, old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. This is why in uh, Isaiah 41, I believe, it says, Remember none of the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Do you not know it? It's, it's, it's as it was saying, it's talking about a mindset. It's talking about, that's what it says, come from amongst them. Be ye separate, said the Lord. He, you know, he's always trying to get you to change the way you think when the power of God hits you and you fresh and you're brand new and you know it. Get into that word, study to show yourself approved and keep moving forward. 
try to stay away from that same mindset that had you stuck not being able to move forward. Have you ever heard that um, old saying, you could take the man from the hood, but you can't take the hood out the man? Oh, this is just the way I am. I've been like this for 30, 40 years. This is what I do. You know what I'm saying? Listen, that is a setup from the devil to stop you from reaching to where God wants you to be. Because God has something greater and bigger for you. But until you renew your mind, before you get out of that old man's mindset, I guarantee you'll be stuck. Trying to doubt the power of God and reality is you have to renew your mind. You have to change the way you think. And this is not a one-time deal. This is a lifetime process. We have to practice day in and day out on renewing our mind and becoming closer and closer to Christ and a better and successful person. Um, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.